What's up, Drew? Lance Gallery from the Detroit Pistons. Just want to say thank you for all your support. Give you a shout out. Detroit Drew. Check him out on YouTube. Peace. Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy. Giving a shout out to my man, Drew. Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel. Detroit Drew. Bad boy. Happy home day, and today we are back talking about the Detroit Pistons and Lamelo Ball. But before we do, I have to thank all the brave men and women who have served this great country and our veterans. And you guys are the real heroes behind this country. Without you guys, Detroit Drew's not here doing this. Uh, Jim Bob at Walmart's not bagging groceries. I mean, it's like LeBron James is not playing basketball. He's not winning championships. Without you guys, none of this stuff is possible. So you guys are the true heroes and from the bottom of my heart thank you if you guys are a veteran or if anyone in your family has served there's a community post you can drop their names down there below so that way they know they are loved or right down below here in this comment you don't even have to talk about this video just let me know who they are so that way we all know because like i said you guys are the heroes and i appreciate everything you guys have done for this beautiful country we live in so with that being said let's go ahead and talk about this so cbs is doing a mock draft and in this one surprisingly the pistons have the number one overall pick i'm like what the hell how do we get that well lo and behold we traded with the minnesota timberwolves who traded away the first overall pick <clears throat> a player and in return got the seventh overall pick from the detroit pistons a 2021 20 two almost at 21 it's the 2022 first overall well it's not the first overall pick but it's the first round pick and tony snell now you might be asking why would it be not next year's draft but the year following that well because next year's draft is really loaded it's really deep but we can already tell about that there's gonna be some big names some superstar game changing players in that one some franchise changing players so i think the pistons are looking at that and be like even if we make the playoffs, say we get about that 15th, the 16th, or 17th pick, you have a good opportunity to steal somebody, someone that fell in the draft or someone that no one like scouted or overlooked or something along those lines, and get a steal there. So I don't think the Pistons are going to be willing to trade next year's pick, but the year prior, possible. Uh, but this is, a, this is a good deal because really the T-Wolves don't need Mello. Mello is a point guard. They got D'Angelo Russell. He's going to be playing point guard. What they need is somebody else, literally anything else, except for a point guard in the center. So it makes sense for a team like Minnesota to trade down. They weren't expecting to get the first overall pick. They just happened to get in there. So I think I like this deal. Again, um, I think the two players offset. Uh, Timberwolves will get a good player at seven. And the Detroit Pistons get a player that they think can change the franchise. You know, uh, screw that report that said the Pistons weren't interested in that. That's BS, bro. They are. They are. Melo's the real deal, people. And I'm going to take that to my grave. Even if he doesn't get drafted by the Pistons, um, maybe with the exception of the Knicks, I think he'll be a great player. Now, what does that mean? Well, it depends on what you say, a great player. I'm not saying he's going to be like the best player in the league or anything, but he will become a franchise player for the Detroit Pistons. You best believe it. Uh, he's going to get a lot of opportunities here if he comes here. And I think that if you do trade up to get him, it eliminates sending him down to the G League because you're going to, if you're trading up, in the draft, you need to be playing that player. I'm not saying you have to start him, which he probably will start. Cool beans. But if you try out for a player, you have to play him meaningful minutes or else training up for him was a waste. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, I just seen, I wanted to talk about it today, but then I was like, oh, I should probably get my two cents on this because I forgot to do it yesterday. Um, Troy Weaver says they are looking to be competitive. That's their mindset. They want to be a playoff team. And trading up for Melo means you want to win right now, basically. And I think Melo can perform that. If Melo gets traded here, there's going to be a lot of expectations. There's going to be just a ton of ridicule. A lot of the fans are going to turn against him in the first two months of the season because he's not performing the way that they thought that he would. He's going to be good. But this year one is going to be a really strong test for him because 
you got Blake Griffin, you got Derrick Rose, two veterans on the team that a lot of fans love and want to see him do well. And if you do trade up for him, your expectations is playoffs. And if year one you don't meet expectations, fans are going to turn against this kid. But just be patient with him, man. He's going to be good. He's going to improve. And I think that day one he will be ready and he'll live up to the hype. I really, really do. That's the passing skills, dribbling skills. The shooting needs to be better. The defense needs to be way better. But he's a playmaker, man. And the pick and roll, he's going to be phenomenal. You know, Seku, Blake, Christian Wood, if he comes back, all these guys are going to get so much better playing with a guy like Lamelo because Lamelo's going to look to get them involved. And then your shooters like Luke Kennard and my high Luke, and well, I guess you won't have Tony Snow, but if you brought back Langston or if you decide to play Kyrie or whatever, those guys on the wing who are just standing around are going to get a ton of good looks because people are going to be focusing on Lamelo and Blake. And then Derek Rose, we got the guy stop Derek Rose. So a lot of the other guys, the role players, are going to get better because of this guy. So. I love this trade. It makes sense a little bit. Uh, you know, T-Wolves get the pick that they want. They want to trade down and potentially get another pick in two years. It will be protected, though. I believe if, if they did it, something that would probably be like top three protected or something along those lines. So it'd be very, very interesting. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the Pistons can trade. I'm not sure if they're allowed to right now or if they have to wait on draft night. So draft night it could be very crazy so what you're going to want to do is make sure you guys write down in your little calendar circle it highlight it uh tap it in your phone save it to facebook wherever you're at however you use your calendar save it because on draft day we're going live on my channel above the rim draft party special we'll be going live during the nba draft finding out if the pistons will actually trade up to get Lamelo or stay at seven or even trade down so there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of different outcomes, a lot of trade rumors. It's fun. It's exciting. I cannot wait. We're only just a handful of days away, man. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Can't get here fast enough, man. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Thoughts, questions, comments, concerns. I'll get to all of them. Instagram, Twitter, DSA members, DSA website, DSA channel, all in the description. Check it all out. And I will see you guys right here tomorrow. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace. Thank you.